Doc Rich back at it again, baby. And uh, we got George Carlin with uh, You Have No Rights. That's what we're going to be checking out today. If y'all enjoyed the video, smack the like button. Of course, helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Um, if you guys got any other suggestions, comment them down below. Or feel free to DM them to me. Links to my social media accounts are in the description box below. Um, subscribe if you're new. And last thing, if you don't like reaction videos and pausing, things of that nature, I'll leave the original link in the description box below. Let's go. Customs. Swearing <clears throat> on the Bible. You understand that shit? They tell you to raise your right hand, place your left hand on the Bible. Does this stuff really matter? Which hand? Does God really give a fuck about details like this? <laughs> Suppose you put your right hand in the Bible, you raise your left hand. Would that count? Or would God say, sorry, wrong hand, try again? <laughs> and what, why does one hand have to be raised? What is the magic in this gesture? This seems like some sort of a primitive voodoo mojo shtick. <laughs> why not put your left hand in the Bible, let your right hand hang down by your side? <laughs> Hey, yo. <laughs> Speaking facts, though. Like, what is this? <laughs> you may answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when we were in school, we had to raise our hand. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to get called, though. What the hell? It's more natural. Or put it in your pocket. Remember what your mother used to say? Don't put your hands in your pockets. Does she know something we don't know? <laughs> is this hand shit really important? Well, let's get back to the Bible, America's favorite national theatrical prop. <laughs> Suppose the Bible they hand you to swear on is upside down, or backward, or both, and you swear to tell the truth on an upside down backward Bible. <laughs> Would that count? Suppose the Bible they hand you is an old Bible and half the pages are missing. Ooh. Suppose all they have is a Chinese Bible in an American court, or a Braille Bible, and you're not blind. Suppose they hand you an upside down, backward Chinese Braille Bible with half the pages missing. <laughs> an upside down Braille Bible with half the pages missing. Does it still count? <laughs> this guy's hilarious already. We're, we're, we're barely a minute in. Well, not barely, we're, we're like, a minute 30 in but still like <clears throat> it's almost a 10 minute video hilarious <laughs> speak of facts too at what point does all of this stuff just break down and become just a lot of stupid shit that somebody made up mm. they fucking made it up folks it's make believe it's make believe now all right okay Let's leave the Bible aside. We'll get back to the science fiction reading later. <laughs> the more important question is, what is the big deal about swearing to God in the first place? Why does swearing to God mean you're going to tell the truth? Wouldn't affect me. If they said to me, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God, I'd say, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you about as much truth as the people who wrote that fucking Bible. How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> swearing on the Bible doesn't mean anything. It's it's kid swearing to God is kid stuff. Did you know, you ever, remember when you were a kid? If you if you told another kid something he didn't quite believe, he'd say, "You swear to God." I would always say, "Yeah, I swear to God," even if I was lying. <laughs> Why not? What's going to happen if I lie? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing happens if you lie. Unless you get caught, and that's a whole different story. <laughs> Sometimes a kid would think he was being slick with me, and he'd say, you swear on your mother's grave? I'd say, yeah. Why not? First of all, my mother was alive. She didn't even have a grave. <laughs> Second of all, even if she was dead, what's she going to do? Rise from the grave and come and haunt me? Come and haunt me? All because I told a lie to an eight-year-old? Get fucking real, will you? <laughs> I, I knew that's where he was gonna go, <clears throat> in the with, with the first part where he said she's not even dead. You know what I mean? Like 
Yeah, sure. She she doesn't even have a grave yet. So yeah, I'll swear on it. <laughs> Sometimes I would say, I swear on my mother's tits. <laughs> Kids are impressed with things like that. I mean, I don't care about my mother's tits either. I don't care if they fell off. Fuck her. <laughs> Not my problem. They're your tits, Ma. You keep an eye on them. <laughs> swearing to God doesn't mean anything. Swearing on the Bible doesn't mean anything. You know why? Because Bible or no Bible, God or no God, if it suits their purposes, people are going to lie in court. The police <clears throat> do it all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. It's part of their job to protect, to serve, and to commit perjury whenever it supports the state's case. Swearing on the Bible is just one more way of controlling people and keeping them in line, and it's one more thing that holds us back as a species. Here's one more item for you, the last in our civics book, rights. Boy, everyone in this country is always running around yammering about their fucking rights. I have a right, you have no right, we have a right, they don't have a right. Folks, I hate to spoil your fun, but there's no such thing as rights, okay? They're imaginary. We made them up, like the boogeyman. <laughs> the Three Little Pigs, Pinocchio, Mother Goose, shit like that. Rights are <coughs> an idea, they're just imaginary. They're a cute idea, cute. But that's all cute and fictional. But if you think you do have rights, let me ask you this. Where do they come from? People say, well, they come from God. They're God-given rights. Oh, fuck, here we go again. Here we go again. The God excuse. The last refuge of a man with no answers and no argument it came from God. Anything we can't describe must have come from God. Personally, folks, I believe that if your rights came from God, he would have given you the right to some food every day, and he would have given you the right to a roof over your head. God would have been looking out for you. God would have been looking out for you. You know that? Interesting statement. He would have been worried about making sure you have a gun so you can get drunk on Sunday night and kill your girlfriend's parents. But let's say it's true. Whoa, that took a... <laughs> that took a dark turn there, Mr. George. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh. Chill, my brother George. Let's say God gave us these rights. Why would he give us a certain number of rights? The Bill of Rights in this country has <clears throat> 10 stipulations, okay? 10 rights. And apparently God was doing sloppy work that week because we've had to amend the Bill of Rights an additional 17 times. So God forgot a couple of things, like slavery. <laughs> Just fucking slipped his mind. <laughs> but let's say, let's say God gave us the original 10. He gave the British 13. The British Bill of Rights has 13 stipulations. The Germans have 29. The Belgians have 25. The Swedish have only six. And some people in the world have no rights at all. What kind of a fucking goddamn God-given deal is that? <laughs> No rights at all? Why would God give different people in different countries different numbers of different rights? Boredom? Amusement? Bad arithmetic? It was bored. You know, just trying things out, you know. We'll give 20 here and uh, 25 there. Let's try a zero there. You know, just testing the waters. Do we find out at long last, after all this time, that God is weak in math skills? Doesn't sound like divine planning to me. Sounds more like human planning. Sounds more like one group trying to control another group. In other words, business as usual in America. Now, if you think you do have rights, one last assignment for you. Next time you're at the computer, get on the internet, go to Wikipedia. When you get to Wikipedia, in the search field for Wikipedia, I want you to type in Japanese Americans 1942, and you'll find out all about your precious fucking rights, okay? All right. You know about it. You know about it. Excuse me. Yeah. In 1942, there were 110,000 Japanese American citizens and good standing law abiding people who were thrown into internment camps simply because their parents were born in the wrong country. That's all they did wrong. They had no right to a lawyer, no right to a fair trial, no right to a jury of their peers, no right to due process of any kind. The only right they had, right this way, 
into the internment camps. Just when these American citizens needed their rights the most, <coughs> the government <coughs> took them away. And rights aren't rights if someone can take them away. They're privileges. Facts. That's all we've ever had in this country is a bill of temporary privileges. And if you read the news even badly, you know that every year the list gets shorter and shorter and shorter. You see how soon it is? Unfortunately, yeah. Um, I definitely I definitely can agree with that, you know. Um, and, I, and I've touched on it. I feel like I've touched on it before in a previous video, um, you know, why our our i guess privileges um should be protected a lot more staunchly um you know giving away privileges like w once it's given like it can't be taken back because it's there's already that precedent you know what i mean like there's already <clears throat> it's already happened you know what i mean it's like it's like bending a soda can right you, if you bend I don't, I don't have a can in here but if you've ever like bent a a can of pop, you know what I mean? Like the the aluminum cans, you can't bend it back. I mean, you can you can get it to look similar, but it'll never be the same. Like it'll always be weak at that point that it was bent. You know what I mean? So I feel like <clears throat> in a way, you know, our privileges um, are kind of the same. If you give them away, like yeah, you might get it back for momentarily, but there's gonna come a time where Oh, well, you gave away your privileges in this circumstance. So, well, this circumstance over here is it's a little bit more significant. I mean, it's not the same, but it's a little bit more significant. So give us your privileges back this time, too. You know. You know what I mean? So it, that's just the way that I feel. But maybe I'm wrong. Y'all let me know in the comment section um, how you feel about the situation and, and what he's had to say. But let's finish this video out real quick. We only got like uh, a minute left. So. <clears throat> yeah sooner or later the people in this country are going to realize the government does not give a fuck about them government doesn't care about you or your children or your rights or your welfare or your safety it simply doesn't give a fuck about you it's interested in its own power that's the only thing keeping it and expanding it wherever possible personally when it comes to rights i think one of two things is true i think either we have unlimited rights or we have no rights at all. Personally, I lean toward unlimited rights. <laughs> I feel, for instance, I have the right to do anything I please. But if I do something you don't like, I think you have the right to kill me. <laughs> so where are you gonna find a fairer fucking deal than that? <laughs> so the next time some asshole Next. says to you, I have a right to my opinion, you say, oh yeah, well I have a right to my opinion, and my opinion is you have no right to your opinion. Then shoot the fuck and walk away. <laughs> shoot. Well, I have a right to my opinion. Some asshole says to you, I have a right to my opinion. You say, oh, yeah? Well, I have a right to my opinion. And my opinion is you have no right to your opinion. <laughs> then shoot the fuck and walk away. <laughs> Thank you. I like that. I like that. I like that. That'll confuse the shit out of some people. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Shout out to my brother George Carlin, man. Um, definitely, definitely some huge talking points there. Um, and obviously, you know, I touched on, um, you know, the privileges situation there towards the end. But um, yeah, that that was that was different. That was different. I don't think. Hold on, let me see. No, we have, I have checked them out once before. But for some reason, wait, what? I don't know. Maybe not. So that, well, what I was getting at is, is, is that was different. That wasn't the type of comedy that I was expecting to hear. Um, albeit funny, um, kind of. Because some of it was true, which kind of hurt. You know, you kind of got to laugh to <laughs> to to not, you know what I mean? To not, like, cry or some crazy shit. You know what I mean? Not literally cry, but you, you get what I mean. Because um, he, he, he definitely, at least in my humble opinion, 
um, spoke some facts in that. Um, and like I said, the, the whole privileges situation is one thing that I, I definitely agree with. Um, and like I said, y'all can let me know y'all opinions about it in the comment section. Um, we'll definitely be checking out some more of, of George for sure, especially with stuff like that. Like that's, that's good stuff. Like we could, we could get like some really, I mean, that, 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 that came out of left field for me. I, I totally wasn't, I was expecting some, some like serious comedy, Cat Willie, you know what I mean? Bill Burr type stuff, but <clears throat> If all of his stuff is like that, those are some some really great talking points. We can we can get some some pretty long videos out of that. Just having you know open and honest discussions about certain you know topics, ideas, and and, and things like that. But um, yeah, y'all let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Of course, subscribe before you go. I'm gonna catch you in the next video.